The gentlewoman is recognized. I thank the ranking member and I thank Ms. Tenney for her leadership on this legislation. Uh, and I rise in the name of Iranian freedom, freedom now for Iran and the Iranian people. This legislation is brave as it speaks clearly in clear tone without fear of the courageous persons who have gone to the streets not regarding their life or the lives of their families. I call them brave, courageous, resolved freedom fighters fighting for their very life. This legislation is absolutely necessary, and it is, of course, bipartisan. I thank Ms. Meeks for indicating the strength of the Biden administration and the sanctions that have been offered and the manner in which the Biden administration, Democrats, and Republicans have said to Iran, no nonsense, no nonsense, and certainly no nuclear capacity. And anything that we have to do to ensure that that does not happen should not be tabled. But what should be tabled is the unbelievable, brutal fighting and killing that has occurred against freedom-loving people. I've been a longtime fighter with the people of Iran that are here in the United States, Iranian Americans who have taken to the streets to be able to say no more and that we will stand with our brothers and sisters in Iran. I have seen uh, the various uh, attacks that have resulted in mass killings. I have seen the fight in Cap Astra in Iraq where there's been a large loss of life, people who've been fighting for freedom. And I went to the camp uh, to see the devastation and I've supported uh, plans for democracy in Iran. I understand that they need us to stand by them. What a horrible uh, and brutal scene that we've seen. Children falling dead, mothers, brothers, fathers, uncles. And what about Masha Amini, just 22, wanting her life to be before her, seeking democracy and freedom, a young, bright woman with courage that was taken away viciously in an ugly attempt to show how domineering this regime is in the course of taking her away to have her life snuffed out. We don't know her last hours, last days, last minutes, last seconds. We don't know how brutal it might have been, how she might have cried out for someone uh, to be able to be empathetic and sympathetic, someone to understand that her life deserved an opportunity to live. And yet, this brutal regime continues to be without concern for anything that it does. And so I want to say to all of the Iranian women, men, children, protesters who are leading the fight, I say loud and clearly that we are standing with you. I support this legislation entirely, and I want to continue the U.S.-Iran friendship with those people who are fighting for freedom. Let me conclude my remarks by saying I look forward to establishing General the time has expired. women's struggle against dictators. Thank you. Gentlewoman is recognized. I thank the gentleman. Uh, let me continue to say that I want this relationship between the U.S. and Iran to continue with the Iranian people who are fighting for democracy. And I believe it is important that this legislation pass to show that America is a champion for global democracy. I'd like to also indicate I look forward uh, to organizing the Iranian Women's Struggle Against Dictators Congressional Caucus, and I hope there will be many who will join us. Let us keep our voices alive, and I rise again to support H. Conrad 7. I thank the gentleman from New York for his leadership, and I thank the sponsors of this legislation. I yield back.